friends. Today we're going to have a story about the word big. Big. But before we read our story that we have here, I looked around my house and I found a few items that were big and little so you could see what big is like. So I have colored pencils in my house. This one is little. And this one is big. Big. I also looked in my kitchen and I have two glass cups. This one is little and this one is big, big. Also in my kitchen, in the refrigerator, you may have some of these in your refrigerator, tomatoes. I have a little tomato and this one is big, big. And one more item. I have some wooden dowels. These are called nesting dowels. I have a little one. And this one is big. Big. We're going to read this, this story. It's called The Little Mouse and the Red Ripe Strawberry and the Big hungry bear. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see you are picking that red ripe strawberry. But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell that red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Uh-oh. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, 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 find the strawberry. No matter where it's hidden. Or who is guarding it. Uh-oh. or how it is disguised. Quick, there's only one way in the whole world to save a red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Mm-mm. 
Now that's one red ripe strawberry. The big hungry bear will never get. The end. His tummy's all full with the strawberry in his tummy. Did you like that book? I hope you did. It's all about big, big.